Hello, my little cherry blossoms, and welcome back to another episode of ZooCraft. Good morning, Curly Fry Jr., and welcome to another beautiful morning in ZooCraft. Hello, little cow. <laughs> Today, we're going to be building the butterfly aviary, which I am super duper excited about. So let's first and foremost figure out where we are going to put it. So it probably should be up high a little bit so that they um i i want to make it a little a little bit tropical on the inside and uh very very good climate i actually visited a butterfly aviary in real life and it was so beautiful i think over there would actually be a very nice area for it so let's go ahead and get into this and i'm so sorry little chicken but you know the drill oh god am i getting shot at thought i heard oh yeah where are you hi Come out here, come out and fight me like a man or a woman. Fight me like a human being, punk. He he he. So let's go ahead over to the other side and start building where we are going to have it. Our um, glass is still smelting. Um, most of it is done, but it's still, some of it isn't done. So we are just gonna start with the layout and clearing the land real quick. Let's get rid of all this stuff. We're gonna be given a lot of vegetables from this. So let's go ahead and make a quick little crafting table. <gasps> It's corn! <laughs> Quick little crafting table and a chest just to put all these vegetables in. Make it a double chest, actually. Parsnips, onions, cucumbers, corn, artichoke. We've got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, that grass is so green! Get out of here, vegetables! No littering, though. Let's make sure to pick up everything and put it safely in the chest. <laughs> also, it's a surprise tool that can help us later. Okie dokie, I think we got all the artichokes. <laughs> Let's put them all up, and there we go. So I do want to flat out the ground just a smidge in this area so that the butterfly aviary has plenty of room. Oh, and some of you guys are still asking what the mods are. Um, as I've said a couple times, I'm waiting till I am not adding any more mods in, and I have all your guys' amazing ideas under my belt so that I know if I need to add anything else into the game before I give you guys the official mod list, because I don't want to give you guys an official mod list and then... I end up adding more mods to it and you guys don't know what those mods are so I will be telling you guys the complete mod list um, hopefully in the next couple episodes um, because I doubt we're going to be adding anything else into the mods uh, anytime soon from what I can think of right now um, but I'm leaving just a little bit of wiggle room just in case. And I'm actually going to use this dirt to kind of level out the ground a little bit. Sorry chicken. But it has to happen. Ooh, we actually got meat from that. Good. Gotta feed our wolf babies. I'm sorry. Okay, I think this area will be big enough for our butterfly aviary. I'm thinking of kind of a gradually getting taller and taller kind of vibe. Like a base and then tower and then another tower, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and kind of outline that with the spruce. We're definitely going to need more spruce. So I'm just going to go ahead and make all of this into spruce. There we go. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we just connect them all. And most of the building will be glass, but we, I am gonna do a wooden frame. And I'm gonna try to cover a lot of the glass with foliage and leaves so that it almost seems just like it's naturally outside rather than just being glass walls. I am gonna grab some of this dark oak just to add a little bit of detail to each corner, like so. Ugh, dang it, I can't make that jump. Let me try, one more time. Nope, let me nom on my sandwich while I think of how I'm gonna get up there. Guess we're using dirt, because I don't have any scaffolding and that's not even in this version, I don't think. So then we'll go in two and then keep going up. One, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be a tall building, that's for sure. It is getting sunset, and oh my god, it's really pretty over here. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run home real quick, just to take a quick nap. And of course, to visit Curly Fry. I don't know, but for some reason, my iron sword is giving off light. Don't know what that's about. Is the silver, or iron rather, reflecting the moon? Who knows? Ah, uh, zoo sweet zoo. <laughs> Hello, little guy. It's nap time. Ah, oh, good morning, Curly Fry Jr. Hope you're doing swanky. But I must go back to work. But first, sandwich. There we go. This will be a beautiful pathway over. Ah, oh, it's gonna look so cool when it's all finished. One, two. Ah, oh, dang it. I keep dropping wood. I don't think I'm gonna have enough to finish this off, sadly. Let's see, though. 
Can't be wasting any wood. Gotta pick it up regardless if I break my ankles every time. Definitely gonna have to go get more spruce wood occasionally. Ow! Can't believe I missed that jump. Two, three, four, five. I might be able to connect this side, but I don't think I'll be able to do the other. That side? Good. Maybe we can get maybe halfway over on this side? Ah, oh, so close but so far away. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more spruce wood. I see spruce. Whee! Eh, fish, don't touch me. Does anyone else get like kind of like grossed out when they're swimming in like a area where they, ha they have fish nearby and like the fish touch you? And, ugh, ugh, it, they're just so slimy. They're so slimy. Ugh. Like I love fish. Don't get me wrong. I think they're great. But it is, it is kind of creepy how they feel on your skin. Oh, little cave. Okay, we got 30 dark oak. Oh, dark oak, I thought this was spruce. Where is the spruce? Oh, I've been doing my, I've been doing the wrong one this whole time. Uh, let's go over to the spruce forest just so we make sure we actually get the right wood this time. We'll only do the actual spruce trees. I thought that the autumn trees were part spruce, but apparently not. They're part dark oak and birch. Now this should be spruce. Yes, good. There. Oh, dang it, there's more. See, we have a little dilemma coming up eventually. Um, we have no way of regaining these tools, uh, besides possibly ordering them um, after they run out. So, we need to find diamonds. <laughs> eventually. Okay, 48 aka 3 stacks should be enough to finish this off. Now, I think I'm going in the right direction, but I could be wrong. Hmm, this feels like the wrong direction. Hmm, I think I'm lost. Oh great. Whoa! So many fishies! Don't touch me, please. Oh god, I'm gonna drown. There we go. Oh, a pufferfish! Hi! Hello, pufferfish. Now, either I'm on the opposite side or I'm on the right side, but I don't know. <gasps> Spiderwebs! Gross! Ooh, a fox! Oh, we're over by Bennett's house! Okay, now I know where I am. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of on the wrong side. <laughs> Oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> Down the stream we go. But first, sandwich. There we go, we found our way back. Eventually. Yay! We found our home. Well, not our home. Soon to be the butterfly's home. Which, I'm not that upset that we did get more dark oak because I am using dark oak for accents and I'll probably replace this part with dark oak and then keep like the pillars across spruce wood. So it will all be used, but it was a little disappointing at first. There we go. Yay! Now, the last layer. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Oh, wait, I made that one too short. It's okay. I'll fix it later. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we shall connect. But I'm gonna make it look like a cooler, cooler roof design. <gasps> oh my god, that was so close. Let's go ahead and hold some porches in our off hand. Oops. <gasps> there we go. Oh my gosh, so scary. There we go. Let's get rid of all this pesky dirt, pick up all these materials we dropped, and now let us finally go over and grab the glass. Um, I think we're going to finish this in the next episode though, because this is taking a little bit longer than I assumed it would. Ah! Creeper! I just gotta run away. We can't let my little babies get hurt, even though they sound pretty vicious on their own. So. Are you going to try to get out? I promise I'm going to make you a little outdoor area really soon, Curly Fry. Curly Fry Junior. Okay, we got a whole stack of glass, and I don't think that'll actually be enough now that I'm thinking about it. Ah, gosh. We'll see, though. We shall see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time I'll be on this world will be after I get home from my trip. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see updates from me on my trip, go follow me on Instagram at Izumi Builds. Um, and I'll be posting on my Instagram story updates of what I'm doing. So yeah, <laughs> I'll also be posting on my community page. So make sure to turn notifications on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.